Our game's over away that are televised will be shown on the big screen. So if you can't make it down to Scotland or to the away games, this is a place where you'll know there'll be a, a great Glasgow Warriors support, a place to come and enjoy, enjoy the game. I'm going to invite back up uh, Greg, Big T and Mike to uh, run through a few questions and uh, try and get maybe a few unknown facts about them as well, potentially. Okay, we're going to we're going to start with Mike Blair, and Mike, there's a there's a really obvious one here, probably probably a question that everybody wants to know: Who is older, you or Gregor? <laughs> Hello. I want to answer. That. Dude, just out of respect for the head coach, you declined to answer. Terrific. Um, well. On a serious point, Gregor, uh, you obviously know each other very well. I imagine it would have been a big part of you of you signing here to, to work with Gregor again. Tell us a little bit, Gregor. Yeah, um, Gregor's one of the main reasons um, why I came to Glasgow. Um, <laughs> I kept in touch with him while I was down in Newcastle and away, and he was always bragging about no one at, Gl at Glasgow being able to beat him at table tennis. Um, so basically, I've been unbeaten against Gregor for 14 years. Uh, so I signed for Glasgow basically on the back of um, <laughs> <laughs> Greg has a green in the background. Uh, okay, uh, Big T. Big T, you spent all your life either playing your rugby in, uh, in Fiji or Australia. Tell me what Gregor told you about the weather in Glasgow. <laughs> shorts and boots and uh, t-shirts, but uh, that's not working out clearly, so... <laughs> no, it's, it's good, it's good. I'm loving the weather. <laughs> You're the only one. Uh, I'm going to stick with you, Big T. A uh, uh, bit of an interesting story into maybe some of the background you got about Glasgow. Tell us about that and, and what you know about the city and, and the rugby. Uh, it's a um, very uh, warm welcome from Glasgow as soon as I got here last weekend. Uh, just, uh, it's an honour to be here, a privilege to be here. Uh, being part of this uh, big uh, group and drinking the squad. And yeah, just loving the people and the, how they over kind in the city. And, stuff, so. and there, was, um, there was a certain uh, nine slash winger who played here last year. Uh, Nico, you guys remember Nico? Um, you, you got, you've got some experience with Nico, do you? Yeah, uh, I went back um, went to school with Nico actually. Same uh, for four years in the same class. <laughs> Did you, eat, uh, did you eat Nico's lunch most days? Or? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> he was a very quietly spoken Fijian when he arrived. He was a slightly louder Glaswegian when he left. To give everybody a bit, a bit of insight, it's always nice to know of any nicknames you've got, like fella, anything you want to share with us? Yeah, I guess uh, the one that the, some of the Warriors boys kind of picked up, it's uh, Touchdown. Uh, Grayson's conjured that up through uh, some old times with him back in uh, Sydney, so yeah. Any story behind it? <laughs> You'll probably have to ask him. How does that look, McFella? Show me that one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, as Craig, I mentioned, you, you're just back in the World Cup, uh, only yesterday, winning, winning the last game. Talk us through, I'm, I'm sure everybody's been going to the TV, some people may have been down there and taken in some of the games. Talk us through some of your experiences of the World Cup. It must have been something pretty special. Yeah, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, every city we went to, every town was incredibly warm and just, you know, brought us in with open arms. Uh, the crowds at every single game, even the Scotland game, was uh, chanting us on to keep pushing harder and harder. And just, it, it's something I've never experienced before. And it was sad. It would be awesome. Yeah. Mike, back to you, buddy. Um, we've already mentioned that you are old. 
Are you going to ask me about the 1987 World Cup? <laughs> 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 it's a tremendous game on the big rig up back up for the 1987 World Cup. <laughs> um, no, I was, going to, I was going to ask you about your experiences mentoring. Obviously, huge, huge role to play on the park, but the role off the park for a senior figure like yourself is massive as well. Two parts to the question. Anybody stand out as a big influence in your career when you were that age coming through and how do you see that role developing this year? Uh, for me, I was one of the first inductees into um, the Scottish Institute sport along with, along with Al. Although you're and a lot older. Let's <laughs> <laughs> think of something that's not too offensive to say. <laughs> So, so that was when, it was 1999, was it? So when we were 18, um, and Bob Easton, that's, that's true. That's not true. Um, um, and Bob Easton was in charge of the, the rugby uh, program at the time, and, and he spent a lot of time um, with us individually working on different parts of our game, and, and the enthusiasm that he brought to training, um, to um, to his role within that was, was something that I really enjoyed and I think that gave me the little kick up the, uh, the backside that I needed at the start. And, and this year, and your role, or the next two years, and your role with, with some of the young, young guys, Alec Price springs to mind, young Grayson Hart down there, how do, how do you see passing on your knowledge to them? I think that's one of the, the important roles that I've got. Um, as an older player, I've had a lot of experiences. Um, on the pitch situations that you have to deal with and, and on the training pitch as well, how you can try and get the best out of yourself. And, um, I was saying to one of the guys today actually, it's not necessarily, um, you know, do as I do, it's, it's do as I say sometimes because, you know, me telling the other scrum hats how to kick, um, you know, isn't, isn't probably the best thing for them to do if they watch how I kick. So, um, <laughs> It's uh, you know it's, it's a role I'm really enjoying as well, um, trying to trying to help these guys um, come through and, and be you know strong Glasgow players for years to come. It's a it's a role you see you enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure it's a role that every one of us from halves in the squad will, will grab a hold of as well to learn from somebody. I've been lucky enough to play with Mike for a long time, as you probably can gather, and the knowledge he's got to pass on is something that will, will stand us in good stead in, in the nine position. Big T back to you, big fella. Obviously, uh, capped by Australia in the summer. Um, who's going to win on Sunday? Scotland or Australia? <laughs> Scotland or Australia? I think I've told the boys that I'm, I'm probably not going to watch that game. <laughs> I just lock myself in my room and just wait for the results. <laughs> and you sit in the fence too long, big guy, you're going to get splinters. <laughs> Um, we talked a little about uh, what you knew about, about Glasgow, the weather being probably not one of, one of the things. Um, for our supporters, although I was going to say they might need to know a wee bit more about you, but I believe your highlights reel on YouTube is the most viewed we've ever had. Um, so most people in here have got a decent knowledge of what you're going to bring, but tell us a little bit about yourself. What can we expect from you on the rugby park? Um, probably... I just probably just do my best. I mean, for the boys, for this team, um, I have committed to this club, and I am fully committed to uh, doing my very best to keep this title, this club, and yeah, just you know, just do my best, and I hope that I can get everyone to support it. I think everybody is genuinely excited to see more of best. And lastly, Greg, you um, signed obviously from Leicester. Uh, you've got experience your Premiership, experience over in Australia. Um, you're an international rugby player. Looking, focusing on, on our league, what do you expect and what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, obviously, travelling around a bit. Um, you know, being able to see Ireland, Wales, Italy, being able to play in those great countries um, and be the teams in those countries. Um, but also playing against uh, some of the teams like Leinster and Munster. You know, I've watched those games, you can watch them in the Pro 12 when I was a little kid. And, um, you know, for us to come up against, or for me and the team to come up against them and perform well like we have been the past couple of weeks in the past year, you know, uh, I'm really excited for that. Right, and again, for anybody that's seen the USA games, the physicality you've brought to those games, we are generally excited to see you in that Glasgow strip as well, like To 
all the new players, every single one that was mentioned by, by Gregor to Tammy Fallon, our new forwards coach, but especially to Mike, Big T and Touchdown. Thank you very much from Glasgow. <laughs>